Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can edit a Fortnite highlights video like AP and DaVinci Resolve. This video will be quite a long one. I'll be going over many things like his opener scene, his uh, impacts, uh, which I have three. I have two buildups, a color correction, and transitions that he all uses. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, so right here, I do have the song called No Better by Killbunk. Uh, it's pretty good. It's one that he used for one of his clients recently, actually, so that's why I chose it. Uh, now what you're going to want to do is just find a clip in your downloads folder, so uh, I'm just going to use clip 1. What I'm going to be going over first is the ident and like the opener scene. I do not have an AP ident, so I'm going to use an ident that I think is decently similar and that will look well in the, with the AP style. So I'm just going to choose this one. It looks decent. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So now what you're going to want to do is uh, right click on the, on the clip and go into Fusion page. And now... Uh, you will need Twixter for the opener scene. So uh, search for Twixter, uh, just like this. And yeah, now drag it in. And now make the speed right here 50%. Now go back into the edit tab and find where the ident clip ends right here. And now go back into the fusion tab and keyframe the speed and go five frames before that. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Keyframe that, so keyframe it here, and now go back to the keyframe that you put and make that keyframe 100. So it kind of goes as 50, then it gets keyframed at 50 right here, and then uh, gets keyframed back to 100. And yeah, now that you've done that, you should have like a slow motion for the opener scene. And now you're gonna wanna do is uh, split the clip where the ident ends, and uh, now you're gonna wanna do is select both of the split clips so like these two right here uh copy them and then paste them onto the timeline again now you're going to want to do is get the this one right here the second part right here so the second part of like the first section and delete it just like this so you guys should have just this little opener scene right here and delete this part too the f the first section uh actually no don't do that don't do that uh now you're going to want to do is uh find the frame uh, that it ends on. So this is the frame that it ends on. Uh, you kind of just have to find it again in this right here. So uh, go back into this clip and then take the Twixter out. I did forget to mention that. Take the Twixter out of this clip and now it should be easier to find. So uh, you just have to kind of memorize it. Basically your main objective to kind of connect everything is to memorize uh, the frame that this part ends on. So uh, this frame right here, I'm just going to refine it in this. So uh, it should, it looks like it's actually this frame right here. So I'm going to add a marker and trim it down and then connect it. And, and yeah, I was right, but it looks like the clip is kind of frozen. It's frozen. So what I'm going to want to do is uh, go one frame in front and then uh, kind of split it or like move it, move the second clip down by one. So now it should look good. Yeah, it does look good. This part was super confusing. I'm so sorry if it was hella confusing. Uh, you guys can skip this part if you want because I'm not good at explaining this shit. But uh, yeah, it should look like this once it's finished. So yeah, uh, that's like the opener part. And we'll kind of put in like the like the opener background and stuff later on in the video. So uh, now you're going to treat this part like it's a normal clip. So I'm just going to stretch it out a lot just like how it should be. And I'm going to find the kill, which is coincidentally exactly on the marker. So uh, what you're going to want to do now is, now that I have the kill, uh, add a marker on the kill and then go 32 frames before the kill. So that should be uh, right here. And uh, split the clip right there and make a new compound clip on the second part. I've, I've explained this multiple times. It's, it's just like the basic velocity. Uh, and yeah, I counted 32 frames back. Uh, on my own, uh, you guys can do it frame by frame, but I just did it on my own in my head. Uh, now go into the compound clip into the fusion tab and go into my folder where it says AP. There are a shit ton of folders here. Go into one that says velocity and add the AP velo uh, right here. And now go to the last keyframe, go into the edit tab and uh, actually go on to where the kill was originally marked. Do that and add a marker and that should be good 
Uh, it will look a bit odd though, so I'm just gonna move the song down by one frame just to make it easier for us. And now on the kill, what you wanna do is 50 frames in front of the kill, and then just uh, delete the dead time. So. Uh, that is 50 frames in front of the kill, and I'm just going to uh, split it there and delete everything. Uh, yeah, and it should look good. Uh, it will take a while to render out, but I'm not even going to wait for it to render out, because uh, this tutorial is going to take a shit ton of time. Uh, what you want to do now is, uh, on the kill, go 40 frames before the kill, so uh, it should be... Right here, it, it will lag a lot. Uh, yeah, right here's 40 frames before the kill. Drag an adjustment clip for the build up and split it right here. And yeah, you should have like this little section of a build up. I did delete the other part on the kill. And now go into the fusion tab and drag in the AP opener build up. So go to where it says build ups, AP opener build up. It's a pre shake with a with, uh, black and white VHS looks really clean it's a bit bright too it keyframes in and yeah if your project uh, setting is 60 FPS uh, you guys should have no problems with the keyframes if it's not 60 FPS then the keyframes will not work and uh, yeah that's a rule that you guys have to apply so right here you can see my playback frame rate is 60 FPS and if you if you guys frame rate is not 60 FPS if even if it's 59.94 uh, it will not work so yeah, that's kind of a, a rule that you kind of have to have for when you're editing Fortnite montages. What you're gonna want to do now is actually for I actually forgot to do this before and just unlink the clips on every clip that you have. Unlink the clips and then just delete the audio from all of them. Uh, it will not be needed. AP does not use like the keyboard ASMR from the clip that he's using. And now drag in the in the SFX the spaz he, spaz headshot SFX and just line it up like that. And yeah. And it should look like this. And it will lag a decent amount. I'm sorry for that. Uh, now you guys are going to want to do for the impact is drag in an adjustment clip and put it to where the kill is and then split it. Alright, I've explained this like a million times on my channel before. It's just like a little uh, impact adjustment clip. Now go into the fusion tab and uh, go into the folder again drag in the appy. Uh, or AP open or impact. This comes with a lot of effects. You will need sapphire for this, and yeah, just like that, it will have rendered. Or just right click on it and click render cache color output. And uh, my playback. I'm gonna fix a some of my playback settings. I'm gonna make this quarter resolution. I'm gonna make my render cache user and then switch it back to smart, so it doesn't lag when I'm rendering. Now that you guys have done that, you guys are going to want to drag in the second clip. So, right here, what I'm going to do uh, is go into my downloads and drag in the clip 2, I believe. Yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, like I said before, it will lag a ton. And yeah, now find the, the kill on the second clip. So, it should be... I'll just find it on the frame. It should be uh, should be right here. This is the kill. Add a marker. Uh, unlink the clips. Delete the audio, and you go to the next uh, kill or on like the next beat in the song. I already have it marked, and it should look like this. And yeah. Now you guys are going to want to do is the same process before, 32 frames back, uh, right here, and then make this the compound clip. I'm going to do this really fast because, uh, shit, I opened the wrong thing. I'm going to do this really fast because I already showed you guys how to do it before. I'm going to add the AP Velo, and now, fuck, I opened up the Razer uh, software. And now uh, what you guys are going to want to do is just find the kill. And then split this part down a bit, line it up, and yeah, I've explained the velocity because like the velocity that I use for most uh, adders is quite similar.
The velocity that I use for uh, most editors, like tutorials, is like the same amount of frames before the kill, if that makes sense. Uh, now you guys are going to do on the kill, I have already have my velocity, I'm going to go 40 frames before the kill, so right here, and drag an adjustment clip, and then I'm going to add another buildup on the second clip. This is kind of unusual of me, I usually say don't add buildups on your second clips, but that's what I'm going to do this time, because AP does it. Uh, now you guys are going to want to do is go into the folder, buildups, and then put in AP second buildup, and it's already keyframed, it's a dark buildup, simple. And now drag in uh, impact. So do the same thing that I did before and drag in, go in there and drag in. This one you can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna do the AP glint impact. This comes with four settings, three shakes and a glint, just like this. And yeah, super clean. Uh, it's kind of like my retro impacts. I, I used to use these a lot. <laughs> uh, now you guys are gonna wanna do, now we're done with the second clip. Let's move on to the third clip. So uh, I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm just going to do the really clean clip right here. And I'm going to find the kill on this one too. Shit will lag like a bitch, but uh, just find it. Uh, should be. It's any of these frames right here. This frame right here is the kill. I'm sorry about the lag. And I'll just drag this down. And yeah, line it up. There we go. I line up the markers. And now I'll go through two frames of four once again. Uh, so this should, should be 27 right here. Yep, make this a compound clip. Actually, unlink the clips for both of them. And then just delete them both. Go into Fusion tab and go into my velocity and drag in the AP Velo and line up the clips again just like this I'm sorry if I sound like tired it's because I am uh, this shit has been a pain in the ass to kind of make the presets and like Twixter and shit like that it's, it's a struggle being an editor I'm not gonna lie especially making tutorials anyway uh, let's move topics uh, Let's just make the dead time 50 frames again. So there we go, 50 frame, dead time. And there we go. Uh, we're basically done here. All you have to do now is add an impact because the third clip never has an impact. It can't be three clips in a row that have a buildup or the third clip never has a buildup. Can't be three clips in a row that has a buildup. Now go into the fusion tab and go into uh, impacts and drag in the AP impact. This is a standard impact, just three shakes, that's it. Maybe you guys could add a flicker if you want. So I'm just... Fuck! Right here. And... I'd make the amplitude sound like 0.5. Keyframe it and then 36 frames in front. I would unkeyframe it and put it back to zero. So it has like a nice lasting flicker. And yeah, that is... We're kinda almost done here. Not really. So... Let's go back to the ident screen uh, real quick. And let's just work on this for now. So drag in the uh, ident like file, like the actual ident itself, a couple uh, layers up. I think one or two should be good. And now drag an adjustment clip and make sure you make it uh, the length of the ident. So yeah, just put it any layer below it. And now uh, open that uh, adjustment clip in uh, Fusion tab, impacts, uh, go into my folder, ident background, and make and choose the uh, ident or appy dark background setting. And yeah, it should be like this. And now uh, it, it should really just be standard. You don't have to like fade anything in or out. It's just uh, this is how it should be. And now here's the more tricky part. Go to the like the like where the ident ends, and then go thirty frames before that. So should be easy right here and then start an adjustment clip 30 frames before the end of the ident and split that and just make like a little section a small 30 frame before uh, end section and now uh, open this infusion page and uh, ident background and drag in the appy black short screen and this is where you're going to want to fade in so go back into the edit tab and fade this in a bit 
I'd say that would be yeah that would be good right there and yeah this should be really laggy uh, it's natural and now api or ap does like to use underwater audio uh and like when the ident is happening so uh go to like the song and split the clip or split the audio uh where the ident ends this should if you have this like if the, you have this magnet on it should everything like just kind of be better i don't really know how to explain it uh now go uh and click on the split section that you have and click alt on your keyboard and drag it down just like this and now go into audio effects right here and type reverb and yeah drag in reverb and put it on the section below this one right here and x out of it and right here just copy my effects so room height make this uh make this 10 uh, make the room length 25 and you just drag it you can't really type in uh, like what you want and make the room width 15 so let's say I just disable all the tracks right here here's how it should sound like uh, and yeah it should sound like that but we're not done here we do need to fade out the second part so fade it out just a bit like this uh, you just kind of have to use your imagination on, imagination on where you want to fade it out and shit uh, we're basically done here. What you're going to want to do now is drag the ident one layer up again. And this will just be for the color correction. So uh, drag in the color correction, the layer under the ident. And go into the fusion tab. Make sure you're on the big long adjustment clip. This adjustment clip should, it's like a color correction adjustment clip you guys already know. It's like, it should be as long as basically the whole project itself. Uh, I don't know why there's a red screen. And now... Go into uh, CC, and drag an APCC. It's a bit of a saturated, brighter CC. I do quite like it. And it's, we're basically done. One more part, I know I've said that like a million times, uh, is the transitions. So drag an adjustment clip and put it on the layer just above uh, the beginning of the clips. Make sure you put the adjustment clip at the exact start of the project. Right click on it and open fusion page it is crucial that you guys have the adjustment clip at the start if you guys do not have it at the start it will not work uh, now uh, go to transitions and just choose a random transition the zoom in top left and now on the third keyframe this third little white line right here uh, select it and then go back to fusion tab add a marker and yeah just trim it down and now put it in between uh, the first clip and the second clip so right here is in between and now uh, do the same thing once again. So drag in the adjustment clip, open Fusion page, transitions, zoom out bottom left, and then find the third keyframe. Yeah, you guys might want to use it like separate transitions. Don't use the same transitions multiple times. People will notice that and it will look sloppy. And now, and then put it in between. And there we go. Uh, that is the final of how you want to edit like Appy. I know I went really fast. I didn't explain things the best. I'm tired. I had school today, um, and I'm just fucking sweating right now. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to drop a like. This took a lot out of me to make, I'm not going to lie. Uh, drop a like, subscribe. Buy my edit pack, please. <laughs> please, buy my edit pack. This is all I want. I just want <laughs> edit pack money. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.